Welcome to a narc-free new year where I am going to read you excerpts out of my book, Healing from Narcissistic Abuse. Recover from empathy deficient relationships and emotionally unavailable people. If you want the link to buy this book, I will have information at the very end of the video. So watch to the end or just look in the links down below. Let's get on with today's excerpt from the book. Chapter three, page 54, Heal Thyself. Conventional wisdom teaches us that you have to heal your own problems, but actually this just makes matters worse because there was something in our early development that got disrupted and delayed in terms of having a healthy sense of individuality. Usually creating individuation occurs within the first three years of life, definitely within the first seven. Those key critical formative years, this is when you become more identified with your individuality, but this involves not just autonomy with yourself, but also connection with others where hopefully it's in a healthy way. During this time, you learn to individualize while remaining connected to others without being alienated, isolated, or having unmet needs. You learn how to have togetherness and separateness in a balanced, healthy way. But when we didn't learn this because part of our development was disrupted or delayed, what we then do is choose connection over autonomy. This is the path of the codependent. Whereas the path of the narcissist is to choose autonomy over connection. So let me say that again. Empaths choose connection over autonomy. Empathy deficient narcissists choose autonomy over connection when in fact we should be doing both, right? So we learn from parenting, whether it's the narcissist or the codependent slash empath, that you can't have it both ways. You can't have autonomy and connection. That's the teaching in our childhood, faulty teaching. But if there had been a healthy progression of maturity, there would have been some natural progression from powerlessness in childhood, where we're dependent on the parent and others, to empowerment in adulthood. That's what should have happened. So how do you heal this attachment trauma? If you've endured attachment trauma, instead of forming healing attachments, then you didn't learn how to get your needs met on your own and with others in a healthy, balanced way, because there's no self-concept or self-confidence to become an empowered individual. So you learn instead how to use indirect approaches such as manipulation, giving to get or taking to get, right? We discussed that previously. And people with these developmental delays in forming healthy attachments are often told, you have to meet your own needs. They're often told that they can't get their needs met by others and that trying to do so is unhealthy. This is like encouraging hyper-independence, right? Not interdependence, which would be healthy. The real goal here is about learning to meet your own needs while also learning to also ask others directly without fear to help meet those needs. The whole truth is that there's only so much you can do on your own. There are actually some needs which can only be met through connection with others. It's through healthy autonomy or individuality within yourself and in connection with others that we learn to find healthier ways to meet our needs with other people when we can't meet them on our own. Maybe we should ask ourselves, what needs should I meet on my own? And what needs do I need to meet in connection with others? Also, what is a healthy way to get those needs met through others in a balanced, clear, confident, direct way? If you're interested in purchasing this book, Healing from Narcissistic Abuse, Recover from Empathy Deficient Relationships and Emotionally Unavailable People, remember it is on Kindle ebook version. You can get it on audiobook at Audible, and you can also get it in print at Amazon.com. And for those of you who like to sit back and watch and listen, well, I've got the video version over at my Etsy shop. Links for all of these are going to be found down below. And if you want to watch the next video available on narcissism, click here. Thank you all for your support.